Can you make a case for Antrim beating Dublin in the other semi-final? Yeah, Dublin will be hot favourites, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, they've been impressive coming through to go down to Wexford Park and beat Wexford, who beat Kilkenny, obviously, earlier in the competition. Great performance. Uh, Dublin very f- physical, very strong, and, and like we all know what's happening at Dublin Hurling at the moment, that... Uh, and there's a big expectation there. Is this, you know, they've they've had a fantastic year. They've three teams in the other in semi-finals. Um, <clears throat> I think Antrim are going to find it difficult to beat them. You know, I think um, Antrim came through an untested campaign. Really got a walk over one of their matches, and I think at the stage um, probably they, you know they'll they'll have it all to do to beat Dublin. I think they'll need to start the game very well. You know, they were disappointed last year. They they performed against Tip uh, last year in Tullamore. They never really got off the ground. I think if they're to have any chance, they need to start well and get into the game. But an all-known form it should be Dublin. As I asked Chair there, can you make a case at all for, for Antrim or do you think it's almost a foregone conclusion that Dublin will meet either Limerick or Galway in the final? Um, I wouldn't say it's a foregone conclusion. You know, ma- Matches take a life of their own at this stage, especially All-Ireland semi-finals. So, as Ger said, Antrim need to get a, a, a very good start and may- maybe need to get one or two goals early on and, and hopefully hope for like Dublin have an off day or something like that. But I, I find it very hard to see past, past Dublin, you know, to, they've proved it that they have the credentials to, to get to an All-Ireland final you know and, and with everything going so well in, in the county at the moment through hurling and football that there's there's a big buzz but that expectation you don't know will it rest right in their shoulders you know and, and they they could be a small bit below but even if they are I think they should have enough for, for an Antrim side you know. Just how impressed have you been with the transformation of Dublin hurling and in particular how strong the under 21 side has become over the last two or three years? Yeah, well, obviously there's a there's a huge amount of work done underage, and with the numbers they have up in Dublin, it, it's uh, I wouldn't say it's very easy, but it's it's easier for for a bigger population county like Dublin to to get better players, you know, um. So you know they obviously are doing great work, and and it's and it's paying dividends now at the moment. But you know they they need to build on that too at the same time and try and win All Ireland. Okay, Jared. Just finally, we have. Two semi-finals to look forward to now are at the crunch time in the Under-21 Championship. Obviously, this is the opportunity for four teams to book their place in the final. Just give us a little kind of a preview to the two semi-finals in terms of the venues and throw-in times, and I suppose just what, can, what people can expect, and particularly the neutral fans who might be tempted to come along on the evenings. Yeah, both semi-finals uh, live on TG Cahar on Saturday the 20th of August. Uh, Dublin and Antrim in Newry at 4 o'clock. Uh, and then the, this was the big game that everyone's looking forward to is Limerick and Galway in Thurles at, at, and throwing at 6pm. So again, you know, it's <clears throat> for a flavour of what's gone on beforehand, I think if you can, you know, go on to TG Car sites, you'll see the, the Cork and Tip game, I know, is there. <clears throat> and the Galway, the, Galway uh, the Tip and Cork game is also there. You know, that'll give you a flavour of what, of what to expect. And uh, I think in all known form, um, you know, we should have two great games and wins on, on, on the 20th. Uh, <clears throat> and as you say, hopefully we'll see who comes through. Looking forward to the All-Ireland Final on the 10th of September in Thurles.